Hey guys, today we're trying this. Oh, Nana used to say, each day she is born, we call her Dawn, daughter of yesterday, mother of tomorrow. We're trying Stillness of the Wind, as requested by Knox on Patreon. Well, that's neat looking. They straight up started their game with the sunrise. And true to its name, we got a windmill in the background just to express the stillness of the wind. Not moving much. Here in California, we could really do with a lot of wind right about now. Shingles on the roof, kind of a patchwork of random materials and colors. Tama grew up on this farm. Um, what am I looking at? Through a time when 16 shoes waited by the door every morning. What is your face? Oh, it's a hood. One by one, everyone left for the city or across the sea. I was like, is that a patch of hair on their forehead? Is that like a goatee? I was like, what is that brown patch? I was like, oh, <laughs> she's wearing a tan like hood or scarf or whatever. Now she greets the day alone. So she has like a very, she has a relatively small opening that her, her face is sticking through. With two goats, a pocket full of seeds, and the sunlight in her boots. Looks like it's a really, yeah, now that I'm seeing it, it looks like it's, she's got a really, really wide, draped over clothes. Um... Trying to figure out how to interact. Clicking's not doing anything. Dragging. Hey! hey. See, if I click on her, she waves. Hey. How about you? Oh, I guess she must have to go around. And open it from this side. Nothing here. Let's go pick some mushrooms, why not? This astronomer's beard looks like just about ready to go in the basket. But do I not have a basket right now? Oh, what was that? A rocket ship soars between great stars carved on this fence by six-year-old Rama missing her mother. I think this is a game about growing old. She just kind of lives in a still place where she has roughly the same day, maybe every day. And all the, all the activity and family have moved on. So there's just this sort of like Lone, this loneliness, but a piece. Oh, just dropped that on the floor. I found another basket, and well, that's a bucket. So I have two different types of buckets. Here's my basket. So I guess I can collect the mushrooms this way.
There we go. We're just kind of winging it right now. If that one's for water, then the other one's probably for food. Mending this churn house. The shelving, ventilation, space, was the last thing Sola did before she deserted the farm, leaving Rama behind. Hmm. These five cheeses won't last forever. Some hay for the goats, not much else. Add more milk to the pot to begin. Cheeses. And the cheeses are for me, right? Yeah, that's, I think that's the hay you mean for the goats. I briefly was like, what do you, do you make hay out of cheese? I don't, I'm like, I don't think you, pre, I'm pretty sure you don't. But that's, it, sound, it, sound, it, sound, it sounded like it was implying that the cheeses will make hay for the goats. And I was like, what? Got a gun and a walking stick, and a, is that a mining pick? Nope, she drags it behind her. Every step I've taken so far seems to have stuck around. What are these for? Oh, that's a hoe. Oh. Well, I think they're suggesting that I need to get a move on if I want to survive. As they're saying, I only have X amount of cheese, so I must have to make. I must have to eke out a living here. Can I plant these mushrooms to get more? I need Marquez gourd seeds. Do I have those? Oh, I do. Needs water. I didn't realize that I had gourd seeds. Well, I already collected the water. I've already watered this today. Oh yeah. So you definitely have like a sort of like daily existence to eke out. Is she laughing? Are you okay? Pet the goat. Every day you gotta make sure the ghosts love you. Why is she laughing? It's starting to weird me out. Here, I only see my father. Leaning a clenched fist against the pole. Moments before his heart surrendered. Oh no. Just a power pole right in the middle. <laughs> One summer with a few hairs on his chin, Garza rebuilt this goat house, the next in a long line of Yuma's reaching through time. What is she laughing at? I don't understand. Are you okay? The madness has taken her. Who did I just lock in there? there somebody, something crawled in there earlier. It's a chicken. Is this her reaction to dragging the stick around? Is she laughing at the funny drawing she's making? Because I was kind of just walking around at random. What a trip.
It's getting late. I guess I'll pick up my mushrooms, dig them inside. Got astronomer's beard and cheese. Is that <laughs> mushrooms and cheese? That's a good. That's a good dinner. You might have to slaughter your your uh, goats eventually. Hmm. Nanatama. I finally made it. I'm in my cap and gown, sitting here in the empty theater an hour too early, trying to hold myself together. But every minute the ceremony comes closer, my chest swells with a hundred new butterflies. Everything finally feels real. Tonight I graduate from the academy, and soon I'll say goodbye to this planet and ship off to the colonies on Luna. You've always been there for me, Nana reading to me every night when I was little. Even now, a volume of Worm, Gal, and Laika stays by my bed, taking me to winter stargazing fairs and gypsy carnivals in summer. You raised me to know the horizon hides the wonders of the world, so I've always rushed forward. People say I take after you like that. You're the best, Nana. I'm still amazed at how you keep the farm running so well on your own. I have so much to learn. I'll come see you again soon, I promise. With a million hugs, Rama. It's her only, only contact now, isn't it? So this, this takes place in the future. Primo by Solid, uh, Solida Labeth. To meet someone from Frymo is to learn that an open window is always better than a closed one. Everywhere there are ears. They listen for a word forbidden from utterance, despite the city's reputation as the half-city of twins. For to invoke this word is to tear the delicate cocoon constricting the grief of its citizens. Long ago, to war against a fatal sickness that afflicted only twins. The vagrant magi planted a branch of their ancestral tree in the city to peddle a cure called the Father's Gamble. A tincture brewed as one, then split and served in halves. The hand that passes the cups must live with the reality of only one surviving. Thus, what greater mercy could there be than a league of men who do not remember they are fathers? Oh, damn. Oh, no, she fell asleep. We didn't make it to bed. Oh. Oh, and we watched the sun rise again. What a chill game. It'll also definitely put me to sleep. Every day getting started is a deliberate choice. You gotta take the moment to move. Um, where's my basket? Oh, she's holding it. Uh, 
Uh, not, I didn't necessarily mean that one. Yeah, let's do the one that's next to the other one. I think it said that I have another seed. It's a little depressing when they're like, Ah, uh, it's so impressive how you keep the farm running to this day. And I'm like, uh... Uh, I mean, I guess the animals are a farm, too. But I looked at the our crops, and I'm like, we don't have shit here. We're in a bad sitch. This could be treated like a thoughtful... Uh oh They get out? One of them did. This could be treated like this, like, thoughtful sequel to a Stardew Valley playthrough. You go out, you play your Stardew Valley playthrough, you maximize your gains and whatnot. Get a lot done. Make your nice little farm. Then play this, is, play this afterwards, where it's like, and now you're 70. Oluna. When I started seeing graves, I was actually a little surprised to only see one. Ooh. Well, the camera zooming out gives you a lot of context. You don't have to search too hard out here. You're wondering what's out here. Hey! The person's- oh, there's more there too. So there's mushrooms down there, there's- oh, there's dialogue down there apparently. So you can make a point to really go on a journey. Oh no, I'm so far away that I might miss this person. <laughs> I'm kind of reminded of the grandma from the first Mist book. Good afternoon, my dear. How fair is the lady of the manor on the snail of a day? Ah, I never tire of coming here, Talma. Every day I have simp I have simply flo uh, every care I have simply floats away. Oh, he delivers the mail. Are you eating, Talma? Nothing is better than cooking up a warm meal at day's end. I remember how frustrated your father... W your father when there wasn't a bucket either by the door or next to the, to the well. Flowers are a bit temperamental in the desert, aren't they? Blooming one day, wilting the next. I took your advice about planning my daily chores. Having a routine has saved me quite some time. It's a bottle of Doc Rom. More seeds and hay. You can sell goats and chickens and cheese. So I'm gonna wanna try to make some value here, aren't I? So I have things to trade. Definitely should have had this with me from the get-go, as opposed to nothing. Is it already late? This does kind of fall into the category of like, oh, this is kind of interesting. But the idea of playing it for a long time and doing like a commentated playthrough 
might drive me crazy. There's a game that came out recently called, or called The Longing that I might do a preview on eventually, but like, that one also is like, hey, this game takes 400 days to beat. Literally 400 real life days to beat. It has a time limit built into it. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know about that, man. I have to think of the morning I sat here alone. One hand holding a letter from my last choice university. The other is clutching over this rock. Oh. I'm kind of afraid to keep going into the void now. So she went through her schooling, and she tried to go, she tried to go to university. They don't specify, but when they say that they were on that rock reading a letter from their last choice university, it seems to imply that even their final option dried up. I only applied to one university, and I got it in. I saw all those UC options in California, but I'm like... I heard. I think I heard $30,000 a year, and that terrified me, so I didn't even try applying. So I just went to, the, to a, a state college. When I was young, I would climb this mill. Sit behind its blades and watch the world with stop motion eyes. Like through the blades. On the last night we all lived under one roof, we carved TEG on this old lime tree. Daring tomorrow never to come. T E G. Hey, you. Punk ass, get back in there. You want, hey, get back in the door, you dummy. Now he's following me now. There's not really anything keeping them in there, is there? Look at that fence quality. It's getting late. And all the hen are going back to the hen house. Including, including that one that just walked straight through the fence. You could not be taking your time anymore. Hmm, so everybody has their routine, even the animals. They all go back home. I guess I'm supposed to close both doors behind them. So that predators don't come in. I think every chicken is currently in the hen house. This punk ass needs to get a move on though. He is taking his sweet time. Are you currently walking towards me? Hey. Hey you. It's being really hard to see out here. You're gonna get granny killed out here. You know what? I don't need a goat. R.I.P. goat. Granny's too old for this. I'm gonna go cook my mushrooms.
from Garza Yuma, editor in chief of the Evening Owl. That's this one I read before. Oh, oh you click on it. Gotcha. Dear Talma, my grandson is born. With ten fingers and ten toes, he enters the world early this morning, two weeks before due. It seems the little summer prince preferred the spring. Elazar, they named him. In a scene that would have been painted from myth, the boy nestled in the arms of his triumphant mother as his father and the rest of the family gathered around, aglow with the light of dawn streaming into the window. Even now, sitting in my office, I can think only of that magnificent sight. I had to come to work directly from the hospital, as my newsroom is quite lost without me. I hope you are well, Tama. Since the bridges collapse, our Laszlo and the Black Cliff Trail have been the only way our letters can reach you. The mayor, meanwhile, abandons the telephone poles to sink into the sand. Unacceptable. Hopefully we can visit the farm again soon. I know of one little boy who would love to meet his great aunt. Your brother, Garza. Did it say Cryptid's Lust? Is that what they were called? It's a hell of a name. Wanderer's Feast and Cheese. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely making these up as I go along. Well, this is chill. If you'd like to see where else this goes, and how big you can get the farm to go, or what kind of stage you can get things to, you can go check out The Stillness of the Wind on Steam. There's a link to the Steam page in the description of this video. Thanks for watching like always, guys. And I'll see you next time.